Hi guys. Well, it is another great gloomy day here in the end times. Uh, that would be Tuesday, August 17, 2021. So guys, I'm trying to figure out whether I'm fucking crazy. Well, I, I mean, we all know that I'm fucking crazy, but you know, am I fucking crazy? I'm just gonna tell you this story that, that I have told to several people and I don't know what they're thinking behind their, uh, behind their breasts. You know, I hung out with a fucking crazy person last week and maybe this crazy person's crazy uh, just washed off on me. Maybe I've been thinking too much about fucking uh, space aliens running around my yard or, or, or whatever. So anyway, Saturday night, some of you might recall that Saturday night I <clears throat> had these two Bolivians camping in the Maggie May, and, you know, in my little camper, and I had these two guys from India camping in the tiny house in the Sancho Sheraton. So Sancho and I, we went up the hill, uh, we went up the hill about midnight Saturday night after we dealt with the fucking very bizarre bathroom plumbing explosion which I uh, realize 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 tells me that was impossible and I said well brother impossible or not you're looking at it so Saturday night was a weird night all the way around so I've got these Bolivians over here I've got these Indians over here so I'm like in between them up the hill in the gazelle glamping tent so we go to bed a little after midnight after cleaning up the mess in the in the bathroom then the first thing that happens about 1 30 in the morning there was what seemed to me to be this some sort of large kind of planet eating machinery with uh, making all of this weird noise and stuff coming down this, uh, you know, this very lightly trafficked road that I live on. It was a weird fucking, uh, I, I, I guess it, it was some sort of large tractor or something coming down uh, the road making all of this noise and uh, at 1.30 in the morning on a Saturday night, so this big piece of machinery comes by. I was up in the woods, so I wasn't down alongside the road. This was, I was lying in a tent listening to this. I didn't get up and look out and investigate. I mean, I could see some lights coming down the road. Oh, it's, and then, so the, the, this weird thing went by and then a couple of minutes later two big trucks came by and they were coming not from Ithaca into the woods they, they, this, they, they, this weird this big fucking machine was coming from the woods going out towards civilization so I don't know if it had something to do with some logging operation. So this was 1.30 on a Saturday morning. So I finally get to sleep. And at 3 o'clock in the morning, it was actually Sancho, who uh, I'm pretty sure first alerted me to this, that Sancho uh, was acting weird and... and, uh, and the whimpering and growling and whatnot, and so I'm uh, so I figure out what the fuck is wrong with you know he's always inventing things like bears and shit walking around. So I I wake he wakes me up and I look outside the tent. So I, I I'm in the tent up on the hillside, looking down towards the creek below me about 80 or 90 feet from me there is what 
I can, can only think of uh, was a person with a flashlight. Uh, I mean, I couldn't see a person. I saw this light, which was clearly a flashlight, and there was this uh, this 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 loud snapping sound, like you know, someone. It, it, it was like someone uh, breaking firewood kindling over their knees, like, you know, like somebody around a, a fire ring, you know, breaking up kindling, like imagine a, a one inch dry branch being broken over your knee. I think that is what got Sancho up. So I, I'm hearing this snapping and there's this light going uh, going around down by the creek and as I say I now I did I ever see a person holding on obviously it was a person with a flashlight at three o'clock in the fucking morning and I'm thinking what in the fuck is uh, what in the fuck is going on here I want to check out what this weird looking piece of thing in this trash pile is and uh, so I'm I'm watching this light and this person with this with this th th this light is going like up and down the creek bank and then they start walking off toward Uh, do I have any reason for this? Uh, they, they start walking off back, well it would be downstream, back towards the tiny house. Okay, I am watching this light going, uh, uh, going along the creek. Uh, as I say, it was dark. I couldn't see anybody holding the light. So this light at 3 o'clock in the fucking morning goes down the creek bank towards the tiny house and it looked like the person was was like walking behind the tiny house, kind of like between the tiny house and the creek on this narrow branch of land I could actually see the beam of light as the, 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 the this weird beam of light was actually illuminating the cornfield uh, on the other side of the creek now the snapping had started it, it was totally silent otherwise there were no voices uh, I looked down there there was no light in the uh, there was no light in the tiny house there was no light in the Maggie May uh, it's three o'clock in the fucking morning so I get out of bed and I you know and put my clothes on and shit and go down I I, I just figured it was it, it, it had to be the Indian guy in the tiny house. I said, what the fuck is this dude looking for firewood? Are, are they fucking cold? Are they going out there to build a fucking fire? You know, they're from India. Uh, and it was getting, you know, it got cold Saturday night. I said, do I need to go get these guys a new blanket? So I, so it could not have been more than three minutes from the time, okay. I, I see the light shining over the creek onto the cornfield. That's when I pulled my attention away from the light, got dressed, got my own flashlight, and headed down. It could not have been more than three minutes. And uh, when I got down to the tiny house, it was clear that they were sound asleep in there, that there was no light on, there were no voices. It was 100% clear to me that, though, that that Indian couple, you, you know, two minutes, bef three minutes before, had not been out behind the fucking tiny house. And, and so that left the, uh, the fucking Bolivians. And, and so I very, you know, I turn off my light and I tiptoe up to the Maggie May. 
and and this is like now five minutes from the time I saw that light uh, you know between the tiny house and the creek it was stone cold dark stone quiet there was obviously nobody awake inside the camper either that they were sound asleep in there it was uh, it was totally dead fucking quiet and uh, you know I went out front I didn't see anybody walking down the fucking road with a flashlight there was no vehicle or anything so uh, I mean it was fucking creepy so I I go back up to the tent and uh, man I, I what a fucking night first I, I had that, that that flood in the bathroom at midnight and then I had that weird fucking thing uh, whatever that was uh, coming down the fucking road at 1:30, then the then this light going up and down the fucking creek so the the Bolivians had already left so I, I come down and it's nine o'clock Sunday morning the Bolivians had already packed up and gone and so the the Indian guys were you know they were out there making you know having breakfast and stuff and you know and I told him I, I, I said is there any chance that you guys were walking around at three o'clock in the morning with a flashlight and uh, they, they just looked at me like I was a fucking space alien like what you talking about and I said at three o'clock in the morning there was somebody uh, with a flashlight uh, right around this uh, right around the the tiny house where I, I said you never got up in the middle of the night uh, with a light and they assured me they had uh, had slept right through the night had a wonderful night's sleep they never heard anything at 1.30 in the morning. They never heard this uh, weird fucking thing uh, coming down the road at 1.30 in the morning. Uh, they were a lot closer to the road than me. They, they never heard that. I uh, didn't see any fucking light. Uh, you know, and the guy from in, so we were talking about like, well, the only other person here, if it, if it wasn't you guys and it wasn't me, the only, the, you know, all it could have been was the Bolivian dude. And, and we agreed that made absolutely zero fucking sense. And uh, this poor Indian woman, I mean, she was creeped out. It's a good thing uh, that they were leaving that day because they would have packed up their shit and left. And... Uh, you know, it's, it's when shit like this happens to you, and you're and you're explaining this to somebody, and you know the people listening to you think you're fucking crazy. Uh, just like my crazy friend I had lunch with, telling me all of this stuff, uh, all of this obviously crazy fucking shit, uh, just coming out of there. A vivid imagination but I don't know they're saying you know Hambone I'm not a crazy person this isn't me that that, that all of this weird shit is happening uh, I'm, I'm just reporting what uh, what, what I fucking saw with my own two eyes and uh, I mean Sancho he agrees with me on this Sancho did you at least hear something weird uh, anyway, guys, uh, I, I don't know if it's because I'm hanging around uh, crazy people with vivid imaginations, uh, seeing shit that doesn't exist. I, I don't know if it's because uh, I, I'm watching this goddamn, uh, all of these, uh, you know, this Netflix thing on UFOs and alien invasions and dragging all of this fucking space alien stuff up again. Um, I mean, I, I wasn't having a UFO dream. This was not at all on any way like, like one of my alien abduction experiences. I'm talking something completely fucking different. Uh, I was not having a DMT dump 
I mean, I'd had a couple of drinks Saturday night, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, I, I was, uh, it, it, it was just a weird fucking night. And uh, so anyway, I want to hear your honest opinion. Did I or did I not see that fucking weird light at three o'clock in the fucking morning uh, down there along the creek in the middle of fucking nowhere at Bugs in a Jar Farm? I did or I didn't. I, I know what I fucking saw with my own two eyes. It wasn't a fucking lightning bug. Okay? It was not a fucking lightning bug. Uh, and if it wasn't, if it wasn't a human being uh, walking through through my, my yard in the middle of fucking nowhere at three o'clock in the morning, if it wasn't a human being, and I don't know what the fuck human being it would be, what the fuck was the light? But uh, anybody uh, with vivid imaginations. Uh, wanting to weigh in on this mystery. Is Hambone a fucking paranoid schizophrenic or uh, did he really see something out there in the woods? Uh, I would like to think this is the last one of these fucking videos that, I, that I'm gonna make. Uh, I know what I saw. Alright, but I am now uh, off to the to, to take this fucking exploding grill uh, back to Habitat for Humanity and then go buy another fucking drain pipe for the bathroom sink before we have another explosion again. Get out there and enjoy your vivid imagination while you still can. Bye guys.